Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to go over the Kat Von D Lolita collection. So basically the eyeshadow palette, the inkwell liner, the glimmer veil. I also have like the liquid matte and the lip liner for comparison. So we're gonna go through all of that today. I'm really excited. The palette looked gorgeous from all the pictures and teasers that I saw, all the looks that I've seen online. So I'm really, really excited to go through this with you guys today. Um, full transparency, I did prime my arm and the back of my hand so that I could get some good swatches because the colors in this start off fairly light and this is attempt number two at these swatches. Um, main problem I encountered is I am very pale on my arms and the colors aren't really showing up so if I encounter that again I'll try and take some b-roll edit it in here's to hoping for the best so if there are some awkward cuts to show you swatches that is why so I'm gonna go through if I see when I'm editing that the swatches are trash I'll add some b-roll swatches so don't worry too much about it um, so we'll start with the box so this is the box for the palette it is gorgeous it's raised it's glossy um, Kat Von D's designs for her palettes and the packaging are always just so amazing and artistic she's such a talented human so we'll start with the palette and then we'll work our way through to the liner and the glimmer veil and then I'll compare them to the original Lolita and we'll take it from there and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So let's get into it. Um, so here's the palette and as of course it's gorgeous. It's the same as the box. It's raised and glossy and beautiful. And then here's the back of the palette. Um, the inside, the mirror, I'm you know it's a quality mirror but one the fact that there's no plastic to protect this from happening with the pan outlines is a little disappointing but not unusual so I'm kind of used to it the design around the mirror is cute um, I'm sorry that the eyeshadows have been touched but like I said this is attempt number two so this is oh it looks a little better from this angle when it's not directly in the light so this is the first color that is the palest and we'll go this way so lightest to darkest and let's just get into it so the first color is promesa so I'm just gonna swatch here on the back of my arm like I said I did prime so it's gonna be a little bit smoother to swatch on so here's the first color yeah there we go and I'll try to what I'll do is I'll get closer and lower the light a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But this is Promesa. Okay, the second color is called Besitos. So that's a little bit of a darker pink, but it's still pretty pale. So I'm going to swatch that right next to Promesa. So this is like a dusty pink. Okay, there you go the colors are coming up better so I think I just needed to be primed um, since my skin is so fair um, the next color is a little darker so that one is called Recuerdos so it's here you go so we'll just swatch that right next to that these colors are so gorgeous I can't wait to make looks with them one I love that the whole palette is pretty much matte that's a dream for me. I love matte looks. I'm, I'm here for shimmer too. Like I like to be really highlighted and then matte on the eye. Um, the next color is called Hermosura. So that is more on the purpley mauve side. So that's Hermosura right there. The next color in the palette is called Con Amor. So with love. And there you go, so we'll swatch that right next to that. These colors are so gorgeous. And the payout is really great as usual. Her eyeshadow formula never disappoints me. I have many of her palettes, not all of them I wish. Maybe one day, cat find me, give me your palettes. The next color is Lolita. 
Um, no surprise there, it's the namesake color in the palette and basically the collection, <laughs> of course. So swatch that right there. Oh God, I love this color. It's no surprise that Lolita is the legendary Kat Von D color. It goes with everything, everything. Lazy, don't want to wear makeup, Lolita. A glam up on the eyes, Lolita. It's such a perfect color. The next color in the palette is called Corazon, so heart. And this is where we start getting like to the really dark colors. So there's Corazon and it's just beautiful. And the thing is, these things blend so well. So I'm really excited to make looks and share those with you guys. And the last color in the palette is Eterno. And it is the darkest color in the palette. It's so pretty. Okay, so that is, here is Eterno. As you can see, super dark, super rich pigment. But it's beautiful. These colors are great. So this is the lightest color, Promesa, all the way over here. And then the rest of the palette. I adore these, honestly. You may get a look soon with this. I'll probably post something on my Instagram soon using the palette. Um, so be on the lookout for that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Shameless plug. <laughs> um, this year is going to be a big year for content making on all of my platforms. So if you follow me and I haven't been posting, I promise you stuff is coming soon. Um, I'm going to leave these swatches here because um, there's just going to be more swatches. So I may start swatching up here. Um, so let me grab regular Lolita. Okay, first try. Here is the liquid matte Lolita. So let's see how far over I have to go. Okay, so going this way. This is Lolita on from the palette. So we're gonna swatch the lipstick. Right next to it for reference so you guys can know how good Kat Von D is at keeping the color aligned. So when that dries down, you'll see this and this perfect match. Because Kat Von D is a boss and her lab is a bunch of amazing humans and I don't normally use lip liner but I've noticed that I should so I picked up the lip liner for Lolita because when I wear the glimmer veils I always want lip liner so my favorite one of the original selection of glimmer veils is the color satellite so I have the blue lip liner to go with that because as the day goes on like you don't want to constantly reapply since it does dry down um, and the lip liner kind of helps keep everything together so here is the lip liner for Lolita and we're just gonna swatch that there I'm mainly just doing this so there's a frame of reference um, because I love to be thorough so eyeliner or glimmer veil Eyeliner or glimmer. I think I'm gonna do the glimmer veil. I've been dying to open this. I've had this stuff in my house since the week that it launched. It is now January 6th. I've been dying to open all of this stuff. So, the glimmer veil. Standard glimmer veil packaging. It's cute. I love that it has everlasting and the text is basically cut out so you can see the color of the formula so the applicator is the same so it's the same little doe foot it's kind of a more curved in there so like it hugs your lip um we'll just swatch that right here So there it is. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm so happy with the fact that this exists now because I love the glimmer veils, but 
the reality of the situation is I can't wear bright blue glitter lips every day, but I could get away with Lolita glitter lips every day. And that's just true. So I'm really happy that exists. And we'll wait until that dries down a bit. We'll get into the eyeliner, the thing that I've been waiting for. Um, again, this is my first try around with the inkwell liners. So quite well, it comes with very clear instructions on it. So here is the packaging. Um, it, when I said clear instructions, on the back here, it tells you to shake it. <laughs> so, we're gonna listen. Oh, it has a little ball in there. Okay. I think I shook it pretty well. Um, and let's take a look and see. Okay, I love this, the feel of like popping the seal when you open liquid eyeliner like this. So, that is a pretty fine tip, which makes me really happy. That should make it pretty easy um, to use. So, like everything else, we will swatch it here. Do a little... Okay. I'm mainly going back and forth to see like how much product you get in one shot. Like one dip in, that's how much I got. Pulled it fresh out, that's how much product we had. I'm gonna use it here just to like flick around. Let's see. Wow, that's super matte. Okay, I'm impressed. I love me a matte eyeliner and I own everything except like eyeliner X I've had, right? So I have, okay, this is wicked easy to use for a wing. So I was just playing around here. Um, and it flicks so easily because that point is so sharp. We'll get more of my opinion on how I feel about the wear on this um, just because I you can't give an honest opinion about an eyeliner until you've worn it out um, so when I use this I'll maybe post something on my Instagram about my feedback on how long it wears and does it stay matte does it peel off is it flaky when you're applying it um, because those are things you can't find out until you're actually using it. But I'm really excited about the formula and the color payout. Glimmer Veil is dry, I believe. Eh, still a little wet, but mainly here where I like double stroked. Um, but as you can see, so Lolita eyeshadow, Lolita lipstick, Lolita eye lip liner, Lolita eyeliner, Lolita Glimmer Veil. The shading is pretty perfect. Um, of course, the Glimmer Veil seems a little bit on the lighter side because it's glitter, so it's reflective, but I think she did a great job with keeping the color as consistent as possible. Um, and I guess we'll get into my final thoughts on everything. So I'm pretty obsessed. Um, I love the color, obviously. That goes without saying. Um, I think everyone loves Lolita, and if they don't, they should reassess their opinions. That being said, for the eyeshadow palette, I do think the formula for the lightest color could use a little love. Um, and it could, again, just be because, like, my skin is so flippin' pale there. It's the underside of my arm. It never sees the light of day, not even at the beach. I just refuse. Like, I'd rather just have the contrast. Even if I tan, that side, for some reason, just doesn't. So, by comparison, like, this is my normal arm. This is my underarm. There's, like, literally a tan line. <laughs> so, I think the formula is consistent to her other palettes. So, if you like her normal formula, to me, it's very buttery. It blends very well. If you like those formulas, you're going to like this palette. However, obviously, the colorway is not for everyone. I've been trying to get myself to step more out of the box. So, normally, I'm just, like, queen of neutral look with some shimmer if I'm feeling it that day. 
Um, my day-to-day -day look is literally like a little bit in the crease and then like maybe a shimmer on the lid. That's my go-to look um, when I'm not out here trying to impress. So I think this is going to be a good one for me to sort of step out of the box a little bit color-wise, but still within my comfort zone and not anything too crazy. I'm obsessed with the Glimmer Veil formula already. As I said, I own almost all of them. Um, so I'm really happy that that exists now. Um, I can't wait till I wear it. And once I get to wear the inkwell, I'm really impressed with how quickly it dries down, but I could also on the flip side see that being problematic if you take your time doing your wing. So I want to get back to you guys with feedback when I do use it to make a look, just to see how it plays when you're applying for real. Because like me doing a wing, I could take five seconds to do a wing or it could take me 15 minutes. So I need to know if it's going to flake, if I have to go back over it or how that's gonna go down. So I'll keep you guys posted um, if I do use, if I do, get around to it soon. I'll post it on my Instagram how I'm feeling about it, how the application was with a look so you guys know. With like a beginning of the day and an end of the day just for reference. Um, but I really enjoyed everything today so I'm I mean I ride or die for cat that's to without saying so I hope you guys enjoyed this today. As always like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video, let me know down below. If you have anything else that you want me to review or swatch, leave it down in the comments. And if you didn't like it, subscribe anyway. It's free. Hope you guys liked. <laughs>